Hello and uh, welcome to uh, my channel. This is uh, GF Commander Kyle signing in. Um, yeah, so uh, this is a new channel. Um, I used to go under Evi Paladin, but unfortunately, uh, due to issues revolving around linked accounts, uh, I had to make a new one so that when uh, when people received resumes from me, it wouldn't be from Evi Paladin. It would be from you know my real name. So, uh, here's a new account. Uh, I recently got a capture card that actually works with the Wii, so I'm very excited. Very, very excited. Um, so, in case you don't... If, if, for those of you who know who I am, you already know what this is going to be. Uh, for those of you who don't, how the hell did you even find this fucking channel? Like, really? Uh, but anyways, so, uh, we're going to get started. And this is a game that is near and dear to my heart. I have logged thousands upon thousands of hours on it. Um, well, not thousands upon a thousand. Probably close to a thousand. So uh, I actually had an old save on it, but I got rid of it for this. Love you guys. Um, my original file, I think I logged like probably 600 hours. Uh, then my second file, I think I must have logged close to, close to 400. Um, yeah. Gotcha FORCE! Fucking love this game so goddamn much. So, um, this is a new game, so really 90% of the shit, irrelevant. In fact, all of it is irrelevant except for story mode, because I don't have shit. So, check the memory card. Start game! Woo! Fuck yeah, anime cutscenes. Fuck yeah, dumb bullshit eyebrows. Yeah, shooting star. Go we'll get it. Man, look at this fucking dumbass protagonist. Bullshit eyebrows. So yeah, that's a gotcha Borg. In fact, it's not any gotcha Borg, it's our gotcha Borg. So there's Mana now. Uh, fuck it. Oh, god damn it, I'm so bad at remembering names on the spot. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, that's a Box. Look at all these people who will team up with us. Do, 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 do. Fucking Death Force. God damn. Alright. But yeah, so uh, this game, really fucking fun. Um, is it the best game ever? Definitely not. Uh, there's a huge amount of flaws within the game, but you know, it's just fucking fun to play. It's a very silly, ridiculous thing without being like really obvious about silliness. It, it's sort of like a just generally kind of uh, play about sort of thing. The day after a meeting of flaws, town, how about that voice acting? A boy went in search of it, hoping to find an adventure. What he found was a palm-sized robot that has a mind of its own. The little machine was also a life form known as a gotchaborg from the planet All right, so that's the, that's the first bit of exposition out of the way. What? So, there's our buddy, G-Red. He's our home skillet. He will be our closest ally in this game. He's fucking Hi. so good. Though he, and he gets even fucking better, it's ridiculous. So, um, mm. is uh, sort of like his catchphrase? It's not really, he's also got, wow! And a bunch of other dumb shit, but... He says, um, a lot in the dialogue, and like I said before, voice acting, not fucking good. So yeah, we gotta use our courage, hot-blooded spiral energy powers, to uh, lead G-Red to victory against the Death Force. Huh? So, we're his GF commander. Eh? 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 That's where the fucking name comes from. Keep up. So, we got our tutorial mission. This is a really fucking good tutorial mission, and it's very simple why. They are After G-Red does his bullshit, nonsense, awful. They are an evil gotcha board corpse that fight only to conquer and destroy. Gotcha board corpse. Oh, yeah. Your fighting courage turns into GF energy. 
So it's just straight up fucking spiral power. Now, give me your orders. Fucking love that line. So, the reason why this uh, tutorial is so good. This first wave of enemies will not touch you. So you can just sort of go around and get a feeling for the controls without having to uh, have the game hold your hand tell you exactly what to do. So, you got your B and X there. So uh, each of those does a different thing. So you're like, hey, why does uh, the B have a number? Oh, it's an ammo count. It might have a little bar there. Oh, hey, look, it says charge. What does that do? Fucking chest lasers. Okay, what's X? Bam. All right, why is this uh, reticle a bit different? Punching power. So uh, you also notice you have a little circle green thing. That's your health. Very simple. These guys will attack you though. But I'm on, obviously on your first playthrough, the uh, game takes a bit easy on you. Cause you ain't got shit. So yeah. Uh, oh, also A is jump, obviously. Move around. Um, you notice that the enemy bar keeps going down. That's because that's their sort of overall life bar for the entire encounter. Uh, the little gear thing filling up is a uh, power, sort of like, hey, it's sort of like an X Factor almost sort of thing if you're familiar with Marvel. Um, but yeah, so I guess, bam, dead. Uh, it's a very simple tutorial. I think it, I think it's really good for tutorial level because like, it gives you an it gives you a safe place to sort of figure out how things work. But it doesn't do it by telling you, hey, press this button to do this. It's just sort of, I don't know. It's surprisingly good for such a, you know, game that's, you know, n not most balanced or well thought out game design wise. But they did a really fucking bang up job with that uh, first uh, mission. All right. So, yeah, let's go team. So that force blew up fucking Mega Borg. What a bunch of assholes. Now they're trying to blow up Earth. We can't let that happen, obviously. Huh? So, what's our name? Our name is my name. Your name is my name too. As we go out, the people always out. There goes Kyle. That's it. This Kyle is very simple. All right, so uh -huh. forces. Let's do it. Protect you and your planet. Protect your death and your planet from the death force. The Gotcha Force. We are the Gotcha Force. Known, Gotcha Force. Known as Gotcha Force. Known as Gotcha Force. I, I, I don't know why they pronounce the P in core. I don't. But it's fucking dumb. So, we got a very small map here. We got uh, our house. We got school. We got fucking Little Hill, which is where we found G Red. And look at this fucker. We know this guy's house. Because our bestest friend in the whole wide world. Let's go, Kikeru. Hi! Alright, so Kikeru, best friend character. Pretty bang up bro guy. Um, uses ninja borgs because all the NPCs sort of have a thematic sort of archetype that they tend to use. There's a few weird variants like with Tetsuya and uh, Tetsuya and Nakobe, but we'll get to that in a bit. But anyway, so he uses uh, ninjas, and his unique borg is called Sasuke, like you know thousands of other ninja fictional characters. So, uh, Sas all the unique Borgs are uh, recolors of um, other Borgs. So he's a recolor of the normal ninja. Um, the difference is that he has way more health, and it's really interesting in that uh, Sasuke is the only one that gets this. But he actually has a slightly altered melee move set to the uh, standard uh, normal ninja. So yeah, get wrecked. Um, early missions, super piss easy. But that's okay. We showed them. He didn't even fucking well, attack us. Time. Jesus Christ. But, um, you'll notice, uh, this screen doesn't fucking mean shit. So, uh, you can safely ignore it at the end of every match. Yeah. So, him and Sasuke, now part of the gotcha force. Right? So, now we get the whole fucking map. This is, uh, well, there's a few variants that happen over the course of the game, but they're all, like, areas within areas, if that makes any sense. So, we have our first choice of what do we want to do. Do we want to team up with, do we want to save Mana's partner, or do we want to beat up Kitsune? I say, let's beat the fuck out of Kitsune, the piece of shit. Hey. Look at him in his yellow and black hoodie. What a fucking loser. So yeah, so he has Isaac. 
big ass purple robot. Uh, it's based off of something called the Claw Robot. Fucking love the music in this game so much. It's great. Look at those big fucking claws. They're so dumb. Anyway, so uh, he, you'll notice he plays, he fights differently than uh, Sasuke, obviously, because one's a ninja, one's a robot. Uh, he shoots missiles. Which, uh, unfortunately for him, can be blown up with, uh, you know, shots. Shot, 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 shot. Anyways. Get wrecked. So, that was that. That was, you know, another piss easy mission. Uh, but yeah, no, um, fucking. She rides such a good unit. Uh, he's not one of the best in the game, obviously. But like, the way it, the way the balancing quote unquote in this game works is that stronger Borgs have higher costs, meaning it's like you can't use. I'll explain it more when I get to uh, the edit force once I can start editing my force. I still can't fucking get over that. Yeehaw, John, you shall pay. Fucking dumb, stupid Kitsune. So, here's Mana, Mana, whatever. I'm gonna call her M because fuck it, I don't know the right pronunciation because listen to this bullshit when this mission starts. Aww. Look! They fucking call her two different names. Bullshit. Alright, so you're dead. You're dead. Oh, I don't have any bullets. Well, now you're dead. Now you're dead. You're dead. All right, what you got? Oh, you got three of these fuckers. Well, whatever. I don't care. Boom! Get rocked. Boom! Rocket kick. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we, we did. Carry. We saved Mana. Er, Mana. Uh -huh. So now she's on our team as well. I forgot to mention this after the Carry mission, but he joined our team after we beat him. You'll note, however, Kitsune did not, because Kitsune is a little bitch. So here we have our first of uh, many defeat the Death Force missions. They're sort of like the uh, filler missions. They just sort it's just sort of, hey, fight these guys. So, you'll notice now we get a new screen. This means this is partner select. So we get to pick from our teammates. Um Right now we only have Kakeru and Mana. Uh, let's go with Kakeru for this. Uh so Uh this mission is just, you know, beat up some enemies. Alright, so let's fucking rock indeed. Alright, um so also, G Red is the only Borg that talks in battle. Except. In, oh, no, wait, no, the final boss was too, but. Aw, oh, damn it. Carry. Alright. Got this. Got this, got this, got this. Only two of them, so it's even easier than the mono mission. Later. You got no range options. You got no options. No options select. Aw. Oh. No, stop. I said you have no options. I need you to lose. Over. Alright. We showed them. Yes, we did. did yes, Alright, so. This will probably be the uh, last fight of the recording. But uh, it's against my favorite character in the entire game, Nikobe. Nikobe and Kitsune are on a team to try and beat us up because they're a bunch of bullies. Hey you! Look at this pompous punk with his pink hair. What a loser. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna team up with Mana for this mission, or Mana. Okay. Mana Mana. Mana 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 Mana. Alright. So, I forgot to mention, but Mana Mana now is based off of um, a board called Angel Nurse, who can, whose uh, unique ability is that it can heal uh, 
allied and enemy borgs, I suppose, in battle. But there's no reason for you to ever heal enemy borgs. But anyways, so, um, and then there's Nikobe, who's being an asshole. Oh, god damn it, Nikobe. Trying to beat up your lackey. So anyways, the weird thing about uh, Vlad, which is Nikobe's guy, is he's based off of this thing called uh, the Vampire Knight. Uh, it fights, it's weird because it's a knife board that fights more like a uh, Musha board, you know, Samurai board. Um, but it also has this weird thing is that it loses 1 HP every second. On the other hand, anytime it hits you with a melee attack, it heals itself. Not to full health, obviously, but it, you know, heals its health. It's a really interesting board that I'm probably going to use. Cause like it's not the best, but it's you know fun to use and all that. This can't be happening. Oh, that was luck. Oh, look at these boosters. Ah, oh, I love this game. Mm. So yeah, so I think Nikobe's name is Nikobe Katsumi, cause Katsumi keeps calling him Katsumi, and I have no idea why. What? So yeah, so he's like, what? I I, I wasn't trying. <laughs> That's why you won. You didn't win. Well, not really, but we did win, actually, um, so. Yeah, so now we have 800 GF energy. Um, now we can do team building. These are the gotcha boards. Yes, they are. Recruit a gotcha board from the gotcha box. All right, so I'm going to explain a bit about how this game works. So, you notice we have a thing that says up to 30 guys on a team. Uh, our current limit is 800 uh, GF energy. Uh, hey, let's look at G-Red. No, it's not even a mouse, it's a fucking controller. Uh, it's got, he's 300, he costs 300. So, um, out of our total 800, he costs almost half. But he's fucking worth it, he's so good. So, among other things, we also start the game unlocked with Normal Ninja and Revolver Gunman. Um, these are both the basic units of the archetypes. Normal Ninja is obviously a ninja. Gu uh, Revolver Gunman is a gunborg. Um, they're both a lot of, uh, they're very basic and they're very sort of, um, they're very straightforward characters to use, um, you get a lot of mileage out of them. They're really good for their costs, I find. Uh, Normal Ninja and Revolver Gunman are definitely, like, solid choices, even in the late game, because, uh, like, you'll, you might have super expensive units, but you'll have, you might have, like, a bit of spare energy to give to one of these guys, and they're actually, they do a lot of work for how much they cost. Uh, so, the way this game works is that you'll notice that we can go L and R. So, warehouse. This is where all your overflow guys that don't fit in the uh, main box area. So, you'll notice we got a lot of space right now. Uh, it's, I want to say just over 200 spots. I mean, I want to say like. Uh, I have no idea, honestly. But, then there's warehouse, which you put all your extras. And then you got item list. Now, item list is interesting because here's the thing. Some Borgs, like the way you get new Borgs is by beating them in battle. But some Borgs are really tough, and as a result, you need to piece them together. So the way it works is that you get uh, parts A, B, like, uh, depending on how tough or rare the Borg is, it'll come in either whole form, where you just get it after the mission, uh, two parts, A and B, uh, three parts, A, B, C, four parts, A, B, C, D, and then there's like two Borgs in the entire game that are E pieces, that, uh, R5 that are A, B, C, D, E. Anyways, the way that getting them works is that you need to combine two matching, uh, you need to combine an A and a B part. So if you get, if you beat it twice, right? Let's say uh, you're doing two different missions and you find, say, Gold Hero, which is a two-parter. Uh, if you get the uh, A part, and if you do another mission you get another A part, you don't get anything. But if you get the, an A part and a B part, it automatically combines the two to give you a uh, Gold Hero. Uh... They're pretty, like, uh, they're nice. Uh, it, it makes it so that there's a lot of, like, New Game Plus playing. Because odds are you're not going to collect a lot of the guys in your first playthrough. Because sometimes you only fight, like, one Borg once over the course of the entire game. Uh, and yeah, but, and some of them are four-parters and it's just a pain in the ass getting all of them at the start. But, like, you can go up to eight playthroughs, uh, before you start looping back on yourself. And... Like, by that point, you'll probably have unlocked just about everything. But yeah, so, um, here's our team. This is what we're going to go out with. Um, and yeah, so, uh, very, like, honestly, really like this team. It's very nice for the start. 
Uh, fuck yeah. Uh, so, to do and that. So, next time, we will be facing Kakeru. Yeah, no, uh, so he's gonna have his t own team, too. So it'll be the first time we have team versus team combat. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna fucking wreck some shit. It's gonna be blast. Uh, fuck yeah, normal ninja Roho got me a great chance to shine. Uh, and hopefully we'll eventually start building up a bigger force as the episodes go along. I'll probably just stick around with whatever the fuck I feel like. And as I go through uh, more advanced playthroughs, I'll, you know, jazz it up a bit, make it more interesting. But for now, we're just doing a basic playthrough of the game. Very simple, very fun. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed the first episode. Uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. This is GF Medical signing out.